Hi, this is Mike, and welcome back to another Game Creator 2 tutorial. Uh, I'm going to do a quick series of videos on hotspots, uh, because this is one of the things I found a little tricky to get to work, and there's just a couple of small things that you need to know in order to get them to work. So here I have my scene with my default player with a third-person camera on it. And we have a cube in the scene with nothing on it. It's just a regular cube. Um, and we want to put a hotspot on this so that the player looks at the cube when it gets close enough. So that so hotspots allow you to put interactivity on objects to identify them as being interactive. So you can put uh, you can get the character to look at it. You can do different things like changing materials. You can put text above it to say what the controls are for interaction and things like that. So, But in this video, I'm going to cover how to get the player to look at the hotspot. So if we go into the player settings and our motion settings under interaction, it defines the radius. And you see this green this is the interaction radius of the character. By default, it's set to 2. And the focus being near character. This is good for a third-person action game. Uh, the screen center is for a first-person game, so that it'll focus on something in the center of the screen. And the screen cursor is for a point-and-click game, so it'll focus on something that your mouse is pointing at on the screen. So but we're going to leave it for near character for now. So uh, so now to get this to work, we need to add a component to the cube and we can either add it directly to the cube or we can add a child object uh, that's an empty object that has the hotspot component. But I'm just going to, for now, add it to the cube. So the visual scripting hotspot you want. So by default, it's set to the mode being in radius. So, we'll, so the radius right now is 10. So if the player gets inside this red sphere, it'll activate. So I'm going to just set it to down to something reasonable, like 2, for instance. So when it gets close to it, it will do something. So, the, so this is the list of things that it can do. So add the spot we want to get characters and look at. So it allows the character to look at the cube when it's near. So whenever it's just within this two radius. So according to the documentation, this is all you need to do. And we will see that this by default does not work at all because the documentation is missing something. So if you see he's up at the cube, nothing is happening. He's not looking at it, nothing. So the, the problem with this is that uh, there's an, a, a thing here with the inverse kinematics. You have to add the IK rig layer of the look at targets. Otherwise, the player will not be able to look at any targets. So anything that has the player looking at a target needs this IK rig. So now if we click play, we can see that the player should now look at the cube when it gets close to it. And there he is, he's looking at the cube. And when he goes away from it, he will stop looking at the cube. So this is good for objects. And you, you can put an offset on this too, so that if you want him to look above the cube, you can, or below, etc. So, and that would be done by changing the offset to constants, let's say, up. If we change it to up, he'll look higher, uh, higher up at the cube. He'll, he'll look above the, at above the cube, which you might, yeah, so he'll be looking straight at over that direction instead of down at the cube. So, so that's how you get this to work. So I hope this helps. Uh, it definitely was, was difficult for me, and I had, to, I had to go into Discord to find the solution to this. So sometimes you, if the manual doesn't say anything, go check out the uh, Catsoft Discord, and there's a lot of information in there. You can find the 
uh, you can often find the solution to a, a problem. So that's it for today. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next one.